you can now get a thousand printers working to print and ship your parts for your Etsy store for free. So our software team has been working on a number of cool gadgets over the last year, and one of them is our core API that allows access to our print farm. That's not ready for release yet, but one of the apps that we built is now being released, and that's the Etsy integration. A lot of Etsy stores out there struggle with these spikes in demand that can come from Etsy. You can either have a product that becomes really popular or just the Christmas season itself. Rather than having to buy 10 more machines in order to meet the demand of the Christmas season, we wanted to create a solution to where you can basically plug your Etsy store into our print farms so that we're the overflow for you, an AWS for manufacturing. So what you're able to do is literally that. You connect your Etsy store to us and connect specific products to us so that when an order comes through, we are able to print it, pack it, and ship it for you. This will give you a lot more bandwidth to focus on your customers and creating new products rather than having to worry about packing boxes and making sure the nozzles are changed out on your printer and what the latest greatest printer is. That is on us to make sure that we continue producing good quality products for you. But that's also what we're set up to do. Now the way the app works is you can go to the website, click on it and log in and then you'll be asked to log into your Etsy store and grant the permissions that have to be there. Uh, you can check our privacy policy to see how we handle all of that data because we absolutely wanna make sure that all of your files, all of your ideas and products are protected and will not be used or distributed in any sort of way. Once that's connected, you would upload a file and associate it with an individual product. So if you happen to have a cookie cutter, you would say, ah, oh, this file goes with this cookie cutter order. That's pretty much it. Our backend system will give you back a quote for those files that are uploaded and matched so you know how much it costs to produce, and then the shipping cost will be on top of that. Once an order comes through for that item, the file will be sent back to our system and will be printed in the correct color. It will then be packed up in a white label box that has no particular branding on it. It will be a brown box with brown packing paper or biodegradable peanuts in order to protect whatever the part is and then the part will be shipped out from currently our Idaho facility. All of this will happen in about two to four days, depending on what the size of the part happens to be. If it's a very small part, it will be shipped very quickly. If it's a larger part, it might take a little bit longer. This is essentially a beta release. It will be restricted to PLA only, and there will be a limited color palette of kind of standard colors. So we're focusing on folks who are doing like cookie cutters or functional items, not really heavily color dependent items. We'll release colors as time goes by and as you guys request them. Comment down below if you want a particular color. The settings are also restricted to a 25% infill and a 0.2 layer height. If there is high demand for other variations or higher resolutions, we will address those and get them implemented as fast as we can. But right now we just wanna get the, the boilerplate version to make sure that our, the whole system is working reliably as it scales up and you all guys all start sending us thousands of files. We think this is a really great opportunity to help small businesses in 3D printing who are looking to scale up, but don't want to purchase new machines and don't want the extra hassle of having to build a print farm. This makes it completely seamless to where you can have a print farm of one machine or a print farm of a thousand machines to meet whatever the demand of your store and application is. So you're no longer restricted by how fast you can build and maintain machines and hire people to change out nozzles on them. Instead, that all becomes invisible and it's just our job to make sure that your parts go out on time. And we've kind of proven that we're able to do that. We have a lot of machines we've been operating for a long time, and this is kind of the next step in making it easier for people to actually produce products on demand with 3D printing. After all, the goal of what we've been doing here is to build a warehouse where the shelves make the product. Go ahead and try out the Etsy app. If you run into any bugs, please do let us know about them as soon as possible. We're all standing by ready to get this thing working for you. We've done a lot of testing over the last couple of months and we're really excited about what it'll be able to do for y'all, especially with the Christmas season coming up where folks might have to like pull a punch or turn off their store or put it on vacation because they don't have enough capacity to keep up, but that's lost revenue. So let us know if there's any kind of new features that you want us to add or anything along those lines and we'll do our best to get them in so long as it doesn't compromise the, the ease of use of the app. But that's pretty much it, guys. Check it out and let us know what you think. Have a great day, everybody.